Well, it's been a couple days now that I've been posting in the Facebook groups for the Chinese diesel heater. So thank you to everyone with the comments and the help. But I am going to try and do some work on the Chinese diesel heater. Today, they did say that we could send it back. I might end up just sending it back and getting a refund. If they allow it, since I spliced all the wires and kind of used it up a little bit. You'll see. Okay, I'm back another day. I spent a full day looking for this wrench. <sighs> Misplaced it in the trunk. I'm gonna install a fuel filter and we are going to try and let all the excess diesel in there burn off and we're gonna let the pump try and pump, uh, like, yeah. That's one of the recommendations is to run this thing without the fuel being attached so it just burns off all the excess gas in there. We're gonna attach a fuel filter before the pump and then we're gonna attach it directly to the battery so that we'll see if the voltage drops down to 10 like it was before. So let's get started. Okay, so I got the wrong fuel filter and tube size. I have to go back to the store and make it correct. Here we go. Well, this is a major pain in the butt. Too small. Now we're going back to the store again to get the correct stuff. Okay, I just got back from the store. I got a new different filter and different hose and hopefully they fit. Let's try all this out. This is gonna be too small. Of course it freaking is, isn't it? Oh my God. Okay, I guess we're gonna go back to the store. Okay, third time back from the store. Hopefully this is the right tube. Let's get to it. Well, yeah! That fits on there nice and snug. <laughs> okay. All right, it's on there, snug, snug. Now, this tank can just sit on the floor now. And, oh yeah, it's nice and snug on there. That's exactly what we want. Okay, and we're gonna burn off all the residual gas. Now we gotta set up the battery. That was weird, the fan just turned on when I turned off the power. Yeah, why is the fan on right now? So weird. Just keeps turning on and off from the solar. Okay, heater's now plugged directly just into the battery. No panels or nothing like that. No fuse boxes. Just into the battery. Oh no. There's some kind of bus bar behind the battery. And I just dropped a freaking socket back there. No flipping way. No way. Oh no. Damn, that sucks. Well, there's forever going to be a half inch socket rolling around back there. All kinds of stuff we're going to find once we open this thing up. Heater's connected to the battery. Turn the lights back on. Okay, so now that I'm plugged in directly to the battery, one thing that we have to check is on the little screen. See, we're still getting 12.3 volts right now, just connected directly to the battery. And then once it started before, when it was connected to the bus bar, the negative, it was only getting to 10 volts while it was working. And so now I've got it all to where we're not gonna pump into the engine. We're just gonna burn off all the excess gas. We've got our inline filter all set up the correct direction. We're gonna pump into the water bottle for the excess gas that we're just pumping through. And hopefully we burn off some gas and get this thing working correctly. Okay, so it seems to be working. We'll see what it's doing outside. If it's burning off any fuel. Oh yeah. It's coming out. That sure is burning off a lot of smoke. And if that's not even hooked up to the gas right now, that's just crazy. It's down to 11 volts while it's working. In the manual advanced settings, I did turn the pump way down so that it's not pushing that much gas into the engine anymore. Um, 11.3 volts, but it's not really doing anything anymore and there's no heat bars on. 11.3 volts, no error codes. Just turned it on 12 minutes ago. Six degrees in here. 
we want it to be 35 degrees in here oh there goes the pump again we're dropping down to that 10 mark in the booklet it says that it needs to be at least 11.5 and i'm at 11.0 right now so that could be a major problem just in general is the power don't know what's going on with that okay as you can see i just got the error 10 code i knew i was going to get a code i didn't have it hooked up to the gas but it's burning a lot of gas off in that white smoke and the volts aren't going down to 10 but they're not staying at 12 volts and they're not like they're dipping to 11 volts the book recommends at least 11.5 volts so i don't know what's going wrong there we're gonna try and burn off some more of this gas and the white smoke that's in the chamber still. Hopefully I don't have to take it apart and replace glow plugs and atomizer. One says 12 volts, the other says 11 volts. Just gonna continue to burn off the smoke until there's pretty much no more white smoke and that thing doesn't wanna run anymore. It actually looks like we're done with the white smoke. We might hook it back up to the pump. So it just turned off the pump itself. It doesn't seem to be burning any more white smoke from outside. So that time around, it just turned off on its own and no error codes. And now it's just going into a shutoff cycle, but it only got to one b green bar. I don't know what's going on. Try and turn it on one more time and see if we get any white smoke. If there's no smoke, we'll connect the pump back up. All right, so one thing I have definitely noticed is it's easiest to work with the remote. It kicked on. We'll see if there's white smoke. New filter. New hose. So I think our fuel line is pretty much dried out down to the, the actual heater. One more startup cycle. We'll see if it smokes. We'll see if we can get up past the green bar. All right, pump kicks on. We drop down to 11 volts. 10.9 that's a bad sign that's pretty low but it says our battery is at 12 volts fine 0 0.03 negative i don't know what that is that's amps that's how much watts are coming in zero so we're almost the solar's doing pretty good right now actually i don't know what that means 100 percent batteries infinity hours because we got solar right now and the volts of the battery the volts from the auxiliary i don't know what that means how much volt we're pulling it just started snowing i got to show you this okay third time around we got the e10 error code which says that the fuel is probably blocked and yeah i took the fuel off the pump so that's right but we're still getting a little bit of drip coming from the exhaust and there's no white smoke coming out anymore. I mean, it's a lot better than it was. That's for darn sure. So we'll get the code cleared. I don't know how I get the code cleared, actually. I don't know how I did that before. Maybe it just goes away after it shuts down fully. So yeah, after it shut down on air 10, I just let it go into shutdown mode. And now I just pushed on on the remote again and it's just starting right up. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we burn through all the white smoke and we can connect the pump and it works just fine. Keeping my fingers crossed. Okay, I got everything pretty much all put back together. Um, we'll see if it does a lot of white smoke. We'll see if it even gets to any heat bars. Let's hope and pray that it works. Okay, we got a green bar. That's a good sign. And it looks like the fuel is doing just fine. The air bubbles just hanging out. <clears throat> How much white smoke do we have? Oh, shit ton. <sighs> and like that, I go outside and I come back in and it stopped pumping. No error code, but it doesn't look like it's on anymore. But one green bar. On. See, I can't push on. Maybe it's just heating up. Hopefully, fucking thing. Well, it sounds like it was just ramping up. That's uh, the warmest air I felt out of it for a while. Oh, and it just stopped. Off. No error code, just off. Oh, air 10. Air 10, same error code, but now we have the fuel hooked up. So hopefully it was just getting the fuel down into the motor. 
And this next time around, hopefully it does heat up. I mean, like I was just saying, that was the hottest air I felt come out of it in a while. Man, this is getting frustrating. It was ramping up, doing just fine, sounding like it was doing good. And then it like stops ramping up and flashes on and just sits there, chills. So I don't know what the hell is going on with that. It still looks like there's some fuel dripping out of the exhaust, so there might be too much fuel coming out of this pump. I just want this thing to work. And now it just started to kick back on slowly again. Hopefully this time we can get up to some red bars. Get some full heat in this van. That would be really nice. I would love that. Oh, there's that 10 volts. I don't know why we're getting down to 10 volts. 10.9. That sucks. That could be a major problem. Is this battery too cold? Thanks for watching. Continue to watch. I got a lot of projects coming up and there's going to be a lot of adventures. It's just starting to snow.